So what do we got going on today? Uh, just fixing up a pretty big issue that we've got here with the old can ham or trader as we may call it. I don't know if that's gonna stick, but yeah, I still a... I still haven't decided on a name. But... I like trader. Yeah, I mean it's pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. So yeah, it's pretty fitting. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I bent one of these uh, these radius rods at the cliffs the first ride out and. I think it was from a stump that was like frozen into the ground. It's hard to tell when it happened because we didn't notice until we were back at the truck. But anyways, here it is. It's rough. It definitely bent a lot worse. <laughs> so it was just a little bent. Yeah, it just had a little crease. And then I was actually behind him. And he thought he was kind of block going around this corner. Yeah, this was the next, <laughs> the next trip to the yeah. cliffs. I didn't get my radius rods in time. <clears throat> for the next trip so this was the next trip and I just like drifted it was in the snow you guys just yeah I mean you guys just finished watching all those videos and it was really slick so I was just sliding around having a good time and just must have clipped like a dirt bike rut or something because there wasn't I mean I didn't even notice when it happened but. no it didn't hit a tree or nothing it was literally there was nothing there it was just a trail so I'm not really sure but it was pre-bent so. yeah I mean as we all know once you bend something a little bit it's not far off to where it's just going to be screwed. So, anyways, it is what it is. I wanted to get the different uh, radius rods to begin with. I've heard it's a weak link, and I wanted the high clearance ones. Anyway, so pretty hyped about it, but here they are. Went with some LNW Fab high clearance radius rods. And I mean, they look beef. A little. Yeah, I got some moisture on them. Yeah. <laughs> From the heat it. change, yeah, temperature change. So one reason I chose the LNW Fab ones is personally, I wanted all three of them to be arched because you gain the most clearance from the bar itself, if that makes sense. So like you can get them where they just clearance. Some companies just clearance the bottom ones. Some clearance like the bottom two. Damn. Damn, dude. I'll get back to you. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Alright, so we're back. Um, I think I was talking about how some companies do just the lowers that are high clearance, but to my knowledge, you don't gain as much clearance because then it would hit this bar. So some companies do these two bars that are clearanced, and then they still have a straight upper. And then LNW Fab does arched all three of them. So. I mean, something I was looking into was definitely trying to get the most clearance I could out of mine. And unfortunately, I really couldn't find, like, which company offered the most ground clearance. Like, that was just wasn't really numbers that people talked about. Maybe because they're all pretty close to the same. So, I don't know. I used the theory that I just talked about on why I chose these ones. As well as, these ones are, like, fixed. So, they're non-adjustable. Which... In my head, I mean, I'm sure there's, there's so many different ways you can think about this. You know, think about bending something, it'd be nice to adjust it, blah, 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 whatever. But I think just having a fixed point, less play, less things to go wrong, less threads and himes and shit to be bad. This is just the hime. So if the hime gets worn out, I could just change it. You don't have to worry about the threads and like the tube or the material. I don't know, it's just my standpoint. We'll definitely see how they hold up. I do believe they have a lifetime warranty. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, I know I've seen on their site that a lot of their stuff did, and I believe all suspension components did. Man, the interruptions are real. But, I don't know. We're going to get these things on, and, uh, and we're going to take some measurements quick before to show you guys exactly how much ground clearance we gain, like, at the radius rods themselves. So... Something that I was curious on, I, I, all I know is they're high clearance, so I don't know how much we gain, but it should be pretty cool to find that out. Alright, so measuring um, this one point quick before we pull this stuff off, we're about 13 and a half, and this is the center of the rod. 
So 13 and a half inches off the floor, and I'd be curious to see where we're at the center of that radius rod from the floor. I mean, I feel like that's pretty good, pretty good knowledge to gain. I was definitely curious on it, so. Yeah, and that's right where you're gonna want it too when you're going through ruts and whatnot. Yeah, exactly, so. So we're gonna start uh, getting these things installed and we'll be back. Yep. All right, we got this, we got this side already pulled apart. Got them switched over to the other, or to the new radius rods. They look sick, super hyped on it. Um, so we'll show you what we did on this side. Just so you guys, if you guys are happen to be doing this, or if you're curious on how it went, we'll show you the best way that we found. So there's three bolts that go through with nuts on the back side. So there's a bolt here in this little hole. There's a bolt here and a bolt here. And all of them have nuts on the back side. And then there's a pull plate or radius rod plate, whatever you want to call it. That all of them bolt to up here. And those ones you can just take the nut off. Um, and the, the bolts held themselves from the inside. I don't know how or what's going on in there, but we didn't have to get in there or anything. Didn't have to pull the bolts out. We were able to just pull the radius rod bolt out of here and then pull it off the bolt and replace it with the new one. So, I mean, it's going pretty well. The hardest thing I'd say is that we've ran into so far was like this top one when you put the new one in, getting like the misalignment spacers in, but we'll show you a clip when we get this, this side tore down, and uh, and then we'll show you a few clips when we start putting it back together, but until then, um, just pull these three bolts and nuts off and, and get this whole side taken apart, and uh, we're gonna do it. That one we kinda did one at a time, and it yeah. didn't go that well, but I think, I wanna try doing this side, just pull all three of these apart, pull them off and then put all the new ones on and we'll tell you which way it went better so and yeah so every all these nuts on here are 18 millimeter all the bolt heads which are these guys are 18 and then the top and the bottom nut so there's three the middle one is actually the nut is a 19 millimeter and the top and bottom are 18 millimeters so you'll need a wrench and then a the impact on this side but other than that that's pretty much all the tools you'll need so we'll catch back up with you in a little bit. Alright, we got all three of those off. Um, it went pretty well. Just pulled the nuts off all of them, pulled the bolts out, and then just make sure you kind of hold this stuff. Because it all is free. You know, the hub, it can't really fall off, per se. No. Because it's held on with the axle nut. But, but yeah, nothing else really holds it. So when you pull those last bolts out, just hold on to some stuff because it'll get a little wild on you. <laughs> but here's our nice quality stock ones. You can see this one did me well. I mean, they're just, it's pretty wild. Yeah, they're, I mean. They're junk. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> this is what it is. You live and you learn, you know. I kind of already knew, but. Yeah, I mean, we I did didn't know. I expect it was going to be that soon. But I suppose we are pretty rough on stuff, so. It takes one hit. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna start uh, start throwing these in and kind of build each one at a time, and we'll get back with you. So, got them on. They look sick. Yeah, all <laughs> that's super, on there. Super hyped on it. So 13 and a half is about center. So that's right in here. Ooh, 15 inches. And we were uh, 13 and a half. Yeah, 13 and a half before. Called it. So a good inch and a half right at the middle of the bar. And the middle of the bar, is 13, it's actually 13 and a half, right, 27, yeah, yeah, so 13 and a half is actually the middle of the bar, so I mean, and that was, so you know, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's still high clearance all the way over to here, so like you've gained a lot before it tapers down, I'm sure down here it's the same point, but like from here on out you've gained a lot for sure. 
Yeah, that end too. I mean, you're trailing arms the lowest point once you get over to the end. Yeah, and like even, even like right in here, it almost arches up at ride height. Like whereas before it was like straight. You know, so it used to go down like this. And instead it's going up a little bit, you know, like down a little bit of an angle. So it's 16 and a quarter, but then it's 15 and, you know, so it's like even angled. So I don't know, it should help a lot. They're definitely beef. I mean, they're <laughs> solid chunks of aluminum, so it should be pretty legit. But I'm pretty pumped on that. We're going to pull it outside so we can get some shots of it, like back away a little bit. And we're also going to measure the ride height and uh, in a few spots and I'm gonna raise it up a little bit we've ridden it twice now kinda got a feel for the suspension and stuff I think it might have settled a little bit not too sure but I definitely want to raise it up a bit get some more ground clearance and uh, and see how it rides like that I don't know this next trip out we're going to the Badlands tomorrow so this next trip out I'm gonna pull I think I'm gonna pull my front sway bar off and then I've got pins I don't know if we ever really showed this, but I got pins for my sway bar in the rear. And they're just like a regular cotter pin that I got at like my local tractor supply hardware store type deal. And uh, so those I can, you know, pull off or whatever really easy. So that'd be cool. So I'm gonna pull my fronts off for this trip and see, everybody says it makes a big difference, which I totally understand. I mean, it only makes sense. And then the rear I'll leave on, but you know, if I want to, I can unpin it and then I'll just zip tie it up to the frame. But I don't know, I'm excited. <laughs> powdered in different colors. And I was torn between doing black and leaving them raw finish. And part of me went raw because one, it looks disgusting in my opinion. And two, I don't know, it, it kind of sets off the machine, I think. Like it, I don't know, black just blends in with the rest of the chassis and stuff. So I don't know, I was torn between each direction, but. So yeah, so we're gonna measure some ground clearance now that it's out here and then uh see what it is I mean we could probably revert back to our old video too and see what we had I believe it was like 15 with the Fox tune and see if it did settle yeah. after two rides yeah I don't remember exactly but depending how much time when I have when I edit this I'll look back and throw <laughs> it on the screen but I don't know regardless I want to raise it up a good inch or two honestly I'm thinking like two inches but yeah I agree could go up a lot yeah I mean I've seen quite a few that were raised up quite a bit Quite a bit higher than this, and I thought they looked good. But I mean, let's be real, that's mostly what we're after here is ground clearance for what we do. Yep. All right, we're gonna grab some measurements and get back to you. Right, so what do you got? So we're right at 14, to the center of the skit. So I believe that did go down at least an inch, because I vaguely remember it was 15, 15 and a half. I thought the front was that, but I don't know. I'll definitely, now I'm curious, so I'll definitely look back. <laughs> I mean, we could look back too right now and see, but I remember this you measured to like this rib, right? This chassis. Yeah, thing. that chassis rib. Ooh, this is 13 and a half. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't seem right to what it was before. No, but I mean, we added quite a bit of stuff to this thing. You know, it's got a, a worn bumper, oh, yeah, a worn wedge true. bumper, a lot of extended sound bar, the cooler, the storage, you know, so quite a bit. Quite a bit of stuff, I don't know. Exhaust. Not that that adds too much, but wheels and tires. Probably lost are weight with the exhaust. <laughs> I don't know. Getting rid of the cat. Yeah, maybe, but I don't know. We're gonna pull it back in the in the garage there, get it raised up a good bit, and then uh, and let you know what we end up at for our finished ride height. All right, so here we are at our finished ride height. 
We raised it up quite a bit and super curious to see where we're at height wise. Do you remember what we were before? No. I just wrote it down. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, we got the oven <laughs> 13 and a half in the front. We'll probably forget that by the time we get there. But the rear is 14, so. And now we're 16 and a quarter. So we raised it two and a quarter. And this is fully settled, you know, we drove it, bounced on it, slammed on the brakes, everything we could to get it to settle where, as much as we could with what we've got. Um, we'll measure it after tomorrow's trip, which is actually some high-speed stuff. Some dune riding, kinda, in the <laughs> snow. I don't know. Who knows, but rock crawling. It should be sick. We're really excited. I'm really excited anyway. Yeah, I mean, so, I'm pretty excited. So the front's 13 and a half. And we're at, damn, 16 and a half. We went up three inches in the front. <laughs> so I mean, before we were running the Fox tune, and obviously it settled a bit, just like a lot of you guys said it would, which we knew it would too, you know. But and then I don't know. I mean, I guess it is probably a good starting point to start at for like an all-around tune, you know, for people who want to go fast or rally a track. Who knows? I don't know, but. I think this is more suited for what we're going to do, more clearance. This thing's got a longer wheelbase, so I'm trying to eliminate as much bellying out as I can. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully it does good. I think it's going to be significantly better. Yeah, I agree. But, it's, it's never fun when you're just cruising down the trail and your whole body tenses up because you think you're about to hit some rock, but then all of a sudden you clear it. It's yeah, like the right. most satisfying thing in the world. Yeah. I know I noticed after I raised mine. <laughs> yeah, same here, because we were both running like the same height in our YXZs back when we like went to like Brimstone or maybe Windrock the first time. Yeah. And then we raised them like a couple inches and life was just so much better. <laughs> it was so much better for what, what we normally do. Yeah. They were but slammed for tracks. I also pulled the front sway bar off and, well, it's still on, but I disconnected it and then just zip tied it out of the way. So I'm going to explore that a little bit this trip, see what I think. I know we ran front sway bars on the YZ. Josh and Billy, I believe, are both still running fronts. Josh is. Josh pulled his off. Yeah, yeah, when he went to portals, he pulled his off. But Billy still has his, and none of us ran rears on the YZ. So I'm running a rear because it makes the biggest difference on these. But I do have the pins in there, like we talked about. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see how it reacts with just the front unhooked. And then I'll probably play with the rear tomorrow a little bit. It all depends, you know. I mean, we're only going for a day, so it's hard to mess with too much stuff. But I'd like to pull it and and kind of play with it and see and go from there. But it's a little bit different setup. I'm excited. And uh, now we're going to go hook up the truck and go pick up Monster Z. Yeah. And, then, and then load up for tomorrow's ride. So. Yeah, we'll give you a shot of the trailer when she's all loaded, and then we'll end out there. All right, guys. So that's pretty much a wrap for the install on the on the radius rods. We got everything loaded up. We're going to the Badlands tomorrow. I almost said cliffs because <laughs> we've gone there two times already. But we're going to the Badlands tomorrow for a day trip. Definitely not going to want to miss those videos. It'll be cool for sure. We've never been there in the snow, and I mean they've got some really big long sand climbs and stuff on top of the rock quarry if you guys have been watching the channel for a while you probably recognize the badlands um, there's some savage stuff there for sure not sure you know how the old zillas are gonna do but it, it is rocks so. yeah i mean it <laughs> is but when there's still on said rocks mm, might not work mm. out but it's all about these units dude Ooh. the horns the horns <laughs> so i think we're sticking with trader but I don't know how he's going to do with the <laughs> Rockzillas, but we'll give it full send, no doubt about that. Yeah, it should be fun. A lot more like variety compared to like the cliffs that you've seen in the past two videos. So more like high speed and low, low speed. 
too much. I mean, we've never really showed it much. Maybe our very first, you guys want to go back in the archives, our very first video, I think we skimmed some whoops at the Badlands. Do you remember that? No. It was literally our first video we ever made. I don't think we said a word in was the Was that video. the one we jumped to? Jumped that had to have been the same one we were jumping in. No. No, it was different. It was just me and you. It was my first ride in the YXZ on film. Oh my god, I think I do yeah. remember. I that is... like my CB boots and <laughs> yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, that was, that was a good year and a half-ish. I don't know, it was a long time ago, but I feel like the channel's come a long way, <laughs> but I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys liked it. We'll give you a quick shot of the whole setup here. What you can see, I think this light might do. Justice. They're looking good. Still dirty from the last rip. <laughs> yeah, we all got sick in between the last video you guys seen and this. So nobody had nobody was feeling uh, spunky enough to come out here in the zero degree weather. It's actually like thirty, but yeah, I mean it's actually pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, nobody. Yeah, wanted being to come sick out sucks. Power wash our stuff, but. So we got a little bit of upgrades, Josh got some more lights done, but other than that, he is still running that <coughs> axle that was hyper extended, so don't be surprised if you do tune into the next video, if you see some axle carnage. <laughs> but we're bringing a spare, we just didn't have time to change it out before this trip. This is kind of a last minute, let's go to the Badlands kind of thing. So, Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Um, hit hit that like button if you liked it if you dislike it yeah i mean hit that too hit that too but <laughs> lay us a comment on why you dislike it because that's always a mind-blowing experience but <laughs> maybe we're shed some light on us yeah i mean <laughs> i don't know maybe you dislike it because something broke or maybe you dislike it because it rolled but like i don't know i'm just curious you know we we like criticism i guess i think is the right word so yeah. if there's something that we do that's really stupid like talking right now just tell us you know <laughs> we'll uh, probably just laugh but yeah, yeah I mean, that is what it is things probably aren't going to change we are who we are and we ride how we ride but i don't know i think that's all we got for you i'm excited to try out the new ride height no sway bars radius rods so stay tuned see how everything holds up oh yeah see you in the morning